very wet um, central Portugal today. Uh, oh, look at the living heck, look at that. Um, this week, I'm looking at two more uh, houses. One in uh, a place called Oliau, which is on the Algarve. And uh, it's basically two little houses, um, and you get the use of both of them. I think they've been used as an Airbnb or an AL, as they call them in Portugal. And the second one is a, a corner plot uh, central Portugal, just outside of Tamar, uh, and um, it's quite a big plot of land, and it's got a lot going on, really. Um, anyway, we'll watch the videos, and you can make your own mind up. And this is these are all both around uh, 200 to 230,000 euros um, in Portugal. Hope you enjoy them. See you in a minute. Bye. Oh, I can't turn it off. Love that. This is, I suppose, if it, there is a main house. It's like it's been Airbnb'd, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ah. Uh, there's uh, the Don Quixote, <laughs> Sancho Panza. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Uh, another bedroom. These look all got nice uh, yeah. original. I love that. I do. There are a lot of little touches here that are really sliding open. doors. Uh, banner. You're in the way of the oh, banner. The uh, thing is, it's like proper. And then uh, I like that light lot. It's not a light, it's just it's a, a window. Yes, I know. And this is the shower. That's fine, isn't it, really? Yeah. So this is the, uh, the little annex. As you can see, it's got everything you need. Little pantry. In fact, it's quite a big pantry, isn't it? Fridge freezer there. This is a bathroom. Bedroom. This is uh, not even the big house yet. So there's this outside space here, massive. Then there's a garage, and then there's uh, this bit of land here, all down here. These uh, nut trees. That bit of drive there. And then there's this workshop here. With water, electricity. And then you come out. You can see. Is this. Solar heater for your hot water, and that's the sea, that's your view. And now we're going to have a look at this one because this is part of the deal as well. Did you like that? It was nice, wasn't it? Um, yeah, lovely that was. Now, the story behind that one is that um, it was owned by a couple and they were offered uh, 250,000 euros and decided against it, um, and then. Um, the market started to slump, so this is 2023, and um, it got revalued at 200,000. So that's on the market at 200,000. But next up, um, this is what money can get you in um, central Portugal. This is a lovely house, and we nearly put an offer in on this one. So um, have a look, see what you think. Such a massive. Oh, 
Well, I might as well just keep videoing, innit? It's a blooming massive joke, innit? Obviously the drive, great vines. This is the shed. And then uh, outside kitchen, the fish. And this is the house. I've been in. Wow. You see the garage, Mark? Yes. It's mad, isn't it? It's a lot of house. Yeah. Kitchen storage. Massive mother, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Almost looking too big, isn't it? Open the, the window. Oh, they're on. Did you want? Uh, oh, it's it's you have to, to clean it. Yeah. Wow, wait. The word in English, no, <laughs> but you can put some uh, something. <laughs> I follow you. <laughs> My God. <laughs> this is frightening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we'd have to. We'll get some new stairs, darling. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? Here we go. Watch your head. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! You have water here, okay? Okay. Yes, a deposit of water that gives you. The water for the house. Okay. okay. This is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good space. That's the fire. Yeah. This is the the access that we saw. Well, while you've been watching uh, my videos, I had a haircut. I couldn't hang around waiting for you lot. Um, what do you think? That was absolutely gorgeous house. That and like I said, we nearly made an offer on that, but we thought that it probably wanted too much knocking about internally and um, we're probably not that confident in knocking big walls down so um, we chose not to um, we, but a lovely outside space a lovely garden and the road although it was you know as busy times you know in the rush hour um, you couldn't really hear it when you were around the back you know, um, and I think most of our life we would have spent in that outside kitchen just um, making Portuguese soup. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, those two films. Um, we bought neither of those houses, but we have definitely decided that we prefer central Portugal to Algarve. So um might have some news for you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this film, 
tell all your friends. If you didn't, let's just keep it our little secret, eh? Mind how you go. Why do you want Brexit to happen at 11 o'clock? What's it going to mean to you? Well, it'll just mean that we can get our... Sorry, it's crowded. Carry on. Our, um, just get our own lives back, really, because we, we're not, we don't have any laws or we've got to have, abide by EU and, no, uh, I just... I'll be ecstatic at, at 11 o'clock. How will you feel? Just to feel as though we're getting our freedom back. Um, what yeah. does that actually mean? How's your daily life going to change? It's just total independence. You know, it's just going to change so much. You know, it'd be nice to see I get a lot of our industry back. You know, I feel as though a lot of, we've lost a lot of our fishing. You know, like... What does it mean to you, think? Well, it means ruling our own country again and having our say over what goes on here instead of being ruled by an EU state. Mm. And for you, what does tonight mean? We've just left the EU. We have, and it's amazing. It's what we've been waiting for for four years. Uh, it means we get our country back, we get our sovereignty back. What does that actually mean? In practical terms, what do you mean? Well, the country's ours again, and we can what? have a lot more say, a lot more rule to what happens in it. Over which rules? Oh, no. Our court, court laws will, will be changed into ours, so we have what say goes on in this country. So human rights and everything will be turned into our laws, yeah. and we will have the right to, well, our courts will have the right to say what goes on instead of Germany. What do you hope is going to be the benefit from it then? What are you, are you, why are you happy? But we can do, uh, we can have our, our rules not Brussels, tell us what we've got to do. Because Brussels...